Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a fun book. A book about being at school. You know, it's almost time for back to school time. And I'm getting ready and you're getting ready. Everybody's getting ready to go to school. And I've got a book about all those things. This is kind of a silly book. We've read one like it before. But this book is called My Friend is as Sharp as a Pencil. My friend, my best friend is as sharp as a pencil. My best friend is as sharp as a pencil. This is a fun book. We've seen one like this before, where we take all the different things that we find and make great pictures out of it. I really like these books, and I think you're going to like it too. Now, this book was written by Hannock Piven. Great book, great pictures. I can't wait to get inside. Are you ready to find out what it's like when your best friend is as sharp as a pencil? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. When Grandma comes to visit, she asks so many questions about school. What is your teacher like? What's your favorite part of the day? Who is your best friend? Who is your favorite teacher? Who do you play with? Who is your second best friend? Who's in your class? Wow, Grandma has a lot of questions. This time, instead of giving her the same old boring answers, I have an idea. I'll show her. Now, Grandma, let's see. You asked about my teacher, Mrs. Jennings. Mrs. Jennings talks in a voice as sweet as candy, except when she is very excited. She can spell anything without making one mistake. And she smells so lovely, as lovely as flowers. But you've got to be careful. She notices everything, just like a pair of glasses. Mrs. Jennings, I'm giving you an A+. Plus. Look at the drawing of Mrs. Jennings. She got so creative using magnets and glasses and candy. That does describe her teacher. At recess, I like to play with my best friend, Jack. Jack knows everything about every country in the world. Jack is as sharp as a pencil, as curious as a magnifying glass, and as precise as a microscope. Is he a genius or what? Look at Jack. He does look really, really smart. In fact, he says real smart things too. It will take me about 1,200 steps to cross the smallest country in the world the Vatican. Wow, he's very smart and he's as sharp as a pencil. What is the most fun about school? Hmm, going to the library. See, I'm smart too. Listening to Mrs. Sheila, the librarian, is exciting as rubbing a magic lamp. She is as interesting as a book full of stories. When she reads them, her eyes shine like marbles. She can be as funny as a clown or as scary as a monster. Shh, there's a story starting now. You have to be very quiet in the library. I like the way her, her librarian looks. And who is my favorite teacher? Hmm. My favorite teacher is as mysterious as dark glasses, as artistic as a paint palette. He's as relaxed as my favorite pair of jeans and always so colorful, just like my new set of crowns. He is Mr. Kristoff, my art teacher. Isn't he cool? Look at her art teacher. He looks like an artist, doesn't he? Paintbrush and all. 
There is one person in my school who is so much fun. She is as happy as a balloon, as graceful as a ballet slipper, as jumpy as a million rubber bands, and as loud as jingling bells. She is, she is, Sophia, the wildest girl in my class. It's party time! Look at how much fun Sophia looks like. And she's holding a sign that says, School is fun. I like the rubber bands for her hair. I think that's a really clever idea. My second best friend is someone very quiet. Someone who is slower than a snail. Someone who is as hard as a nut and has a shell too. Someone as green as lettuce leaves. Can you guess who it is? Mildred the turtle, our class pet. Look at how she made the turtle. And the turtle saying, slow down, you move too fast. Because turtles are very slow. There are so many other kids in my class. One is as playful as a bowling pin. And one is as smart as a computer part. One is as happy as gummy worms. And one is as fancy as lipstick. One is as loud as a kazoo. And one is as quiet as a fish. One is as strong as a bulldozer. And one is as delicate as the sound of a violin. Then there's one girl, who looks a lot like me, who is as clever as Legos. I can't show them all to you, but here are just a few. Can you tell which one is me? Which one do you think is her? Hmm. Not the violin, not the bowling pin, not the kazoo or the lipstick. <gasps> In the green shirt! It's the one with the Lego nose. Does that answer all your questions, Grandma? The end. Oh my, that was a silly book. That was a fun book. Did you see what happened? Grandma wanted to know what it was like at school and she told her what it was like and about all her friends and she used the most creative way to do it. I just love that. This was a good book. I'm really enjoying these books. I wonder if I can find any more. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm really excited about what goes on at school and if you're getting ready to go back to school or to start a new school, Miss Dorothy is very excited for you and I want to take a minute and pray about that. Can we pray about the school year? Good. Fold your hands and close your eyes and pray with Miss Dorothy. Dear God, thank you for my friends. Thank you that they're getting ready to start school, go back to school, or start a new school. Please watch over them. Help them to make lots of new friends. Help them to be brave and know that everything's going to be okay because you're with them every step of the way. And watch over the teachers and bless them in a special way. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, my little friend, I need you to go off to bed. It's time for you to get a good night's sleep. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Maybe you're going to go to school. I want you to get a good night's sleep, and I want you to come back and see Miss Dorothy really, really soon at Goodnight Lighthouse. And when you go to school this year, you know what I want you to do most of all? I want you to obey and obey right away. And I'll see you really, really soon when you come back here so I can read you another story. Bye!